Monday morning. Good morning, Laredo. I'm Barbara Campos. And I'm Much of the transportation staff is already here. Buses will be rolling out of here. Iced coffee run, you might as well because traffic isn't going to be a problem. I can see that. Y como tú puedes ser de apoyo para mamá. I'll take All it right. first. Okay. Make a move and then push and pull. Hey. Oh, we started the week with a good glute workout, and now Allie from BioFit Laredo is back. Three local cities could soon be enjoying some new amenities, sidewalks and bike lanes. Hey, later on for tonight, there's a slap. Accuracy might not be all there. Okay, oh, no, yeah. it wasn't. <laughs> so, so People that have to work tomorrow, so it's just Friday. No it's just big a deal. regular Friday. Kohl's has joined the growing list of major retailers who plan to be closed on Thanksgiving Day. Very refreshing. It's the first thing that came to my mm. mind. <laughs> so we're gonna I hold this here. It hurts more. Yes. Oh, yeah. The very last time that you see this water tank that's been standing in our community for nearly 50 years. Oh, uh, meat for coffee. Yeah, yes. I believe that. The most coffee, the best coffee, actually. Mm -hmm. Under the age of 12 from the U.S. Mexico border crisis are now in Pennsylvania. So believe it or not, Ruben, I have an uncle that made his own. One of his heroes says all he wants is for his father to rest in peace. I just feel like if it's not dark, it just won't kick in, you know? Hi, Barbara Campbell's back to you in the studio, Max. Things are slowly and smoothly picking up on this Monday morning week. But how much will Americans spend this year? Well, that depends on how long a couple has been together. That someone might pull a fast one on us. Production. Okay. Recently, I just became a giraffe expert. Here are some facts. Did you know giraffes spend, <laughs> spend most of their lives standing? For these leaders, their day begins with prayer. A message of hope is what Abel Bazan wants to spread. Que esto bendiga, me llamo Abel Bazan. Te vengo de parte de un ministerio cristiano que se llama Corazón por la Ciudad. Abel is not only a counselor, but he knows firsthand the battle to wean off drugs. I was addicted to alcohol it's over eight years of my life. It's a life with no kind of order, no kind of direction, in and out of trouble, in and out of jails. Abel found his healing after stepping foot in a Christian-led recovery center called Heart for the City Home. They treat people with addiction through prayer and spiritual counseling. The nonprofit organization remains open through donations. Six days a week, the group of gentlemen approach people out in public. They hand out this pamphlet with religious passages and words of encouragement. They also accept donations to help with their mission. Emilio Gonzalez is the group's founder. He leads through his testimony. I got addicted to cocaine and, and, and crack, and it was, so, it was so intense that I was using crack every day. 30 years ago, he says he was in a dark place at his lowest. His faith helped him overcome addiction and restore hope in his life. If it wasn't for the Lord, where would I be? I'd be in a crazy house or dead in a cemetery with no family. I mean, just thoroughly, completely destroyed. Now he ministers to former addicts. The center also provides food and housing. As they celebrate recovery, they encourage newcomers to put their trust in a higher power to overcome addiction. Drugs and alcohol is not their problem. We go down at the, to the root of the problem, and it's a heart that needs to change. And, and, and we point to God, man. That's our job, is to lead people to Christ, man, and let people know, man, that, 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 that there is hope, man. So if you would like to donate to the program or simply need more information, you can... Honduras, ¿y qué extrañas de Honduras? ¿Qué te gusta de Honduras? Tus tíos y tus abuelos. Thousands of miles away from home and family. These shy children talk about what they miss the most. Their little eyes have seen a world some of us will never see. And at such a tender age, enduring dangers most adults will never experience. That's where Jorge Vargas comes in. Niños y niñas, van a jugar un rato, regalos. Pueden venir para acá una sombrita. He volunteers at the Holding Institute. He sees the emotional trauma these children go through even during playtime. Agachar, parar. Llegan con demasiado estrés. A veces llorando, y muchas veces uno como padre no mira eso. A migrant himself from Nuevo Laredo, Jorge's heart breaks knowing how much these children suffer with their parents to live the American dream. 
ellos vienen cruzando varias fronteras y me cuentan los peligros y créanme que la vida real es más fuerte la vida real que lo que pueda pasar en una novela una película. Since October, Border Patrol agents have come across 1,400 migrant families in the Laredo sector. Officials say the risks are huge, especially for kids. Laredo has more deaths typically than anywhere on the border. In the past years, that's been the case. And I think that speaks to just kind of the, the, the issue here. There's a lot of, of uh, brush. There's a lot of dangerous areas. It appears to be excitement in this playground here at the Holding Institute. But some of these refugee children can't run from feelings of anxiety, depression, or post-traumatic stress disorder after a long trip. Jorge says when kids arrive, they are shaken. He wants to show these children that they're safe now, despite their uncertain future. Miras que va a estar más bonito para acá. Te va a gustar mucho. Bienvenida a Estados Unidos. For KGNS News, Barbara Campos.